Hey everyone, Ethan here. So I'm bringing you a video really quick right now of uh, some testing, uh, performance testing for the laptop that I got recently. You guys may have seen the unboxing uh, that I did of this laptop. If you haven't, it's up in the right corner right now. You can see it. But um, anyway, yeah, so this is the Sager NP9872. Uh, it is a dual GTX 1070 laptop. Uh, well, it can be configured with that. Mine here is the single 1070 edition that I'll be uh, upgrading to a second 1070 later. But anyway, um, it is a full desktop 1070, so we're not getting any performance drops from that. But I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys some performance testing of that with various games just to show you uh, not only how a 1070 performs, because that's actually been out for a while, and like I said, it's a desktop 1070, and you're going to notice uh, no performance difference, uh, maybe one FPS if any, but generally it's going to be identical to the desktop version. Uh, what we're really looking at here is actually more so going to be the temperatures. So you see I've got all the information up in the top left corner there. Uh, and right now I'm playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm on the highest settings. I can show you that really quickly if you guys would uh, like to know. So if you go into the video settings, um, so here's all the main settings I've got it. This is 2560 by 1080 that I'm playing at at 75 hertz refresh rate. Um, and I do have uh, both syncs off as well as draw FPS off since I've got the FPS listed right up here. And then all the advanced settings are turned to the highest that it'll let me put them. And I have motion blur turned off because I hate motion blur. So anyway, uh, I figured I'd go ahead and just play this and show you guys um, you know, a little bit of gameplay. Not that I'm particularly good or anything. But what I really want you to be paying attention to here is actually going to be uh, two things. Primarily the temperature, which is right up here in the corner. Uh, the top left number that is going to be the temperature of the GPU, which you can see is pretty high. Um, and then I also want you to pay temp uh, attention to the noise. The laptop is actually right over here, so it's uh, about a uh, foot and a half from the camera, so it should be picking up some of the noise, just to give you guys an idea of how loud it is at a normal kind of sitting distance. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's uh, the GPU is sitting at 90 Celsius. Uh, if you see a little message pop up here in the center and then go away, that is the uh, temperature target once it hits 91 Celsius. Um, the uh, fans kick in at a slightly higher speed to drop the temperatures because uh, 90 Celsius is technically the max safe temperature for the uh, GPUs according to what's set up right now. Now, of course, the biggest difference that you'll be noticing between this and a desktop uh, 1070 is going to be the temperatures. Because like I said, performance-wise, we are you know using 98% GPU usage. Uh, we've got the core clock running at uh, 1500 about megahertz. Uh, it will go higher sometimes depending on the game. I've seen it uh, sit around 1700 continuously before. It does depend on usage, but um, you know GPU boost and everything and what it's doing. But yeah, we're not really getting uh, different clock rates than the desktop would be getting, um, you know, with a reference card. Obviously, with aftermarket coolers, you can get some stock overclocks that are going to be better. But yeah, if you guys see up there, it's sitting at about 90 Celsius and about 98% GPU usage, meaning we're not getting any CPU throttling in this situation. Uh, and we're sitting at about 1500 megahertz, so it just gives you a good idea of uh, what kind of temperatures you're going to be seeing. And uh, like I said, right now we're not really paying attention to the FPS, even though you know I am getting, uh, there you can see the temperature target just popped up. But I am getting you know about 100 frames per second uh, on Call of Duty, not that this is a particularly intensive game. Most of you paying attention to the temperatures as well as uh, the uh, noise levels. So I'll just play here for a minute. Alright everybody, so I've gone ahead and opened up Grand Theft Auto 5 just to give you guys a little bit of uh, footage for this. Again, I'm playing at 2560 by 1080 just so that you guys have an idea. Um, this is the kind of performance and FPS numbers that you'll be seeing if you're playing uh, at that resolution on this game. I'll show you what settings I have set up on it as well. Uh, again, here though, the biggest goal is just to pay close attention to the temperatures as well as the noise levels of the GPU. Uh, now we may start to see some CPU throttling in this game. This game is known for that sometimes, so we'll have to see what happens here. Uh, this is the 6700K, but anyway, figured to go ahead and uh, crash, you know, and show you guys a little bit 
but yeah, it looks like we are getting a little bit of CPU throttling. Anyway, as you guys can see, I've got the GPU temperature up here, the GPU usage, as well as the clock, and then I've got uh, memory, GPU memory information, uh, frame rate readout, and the uh, CPU temp and CPU usage. Now, remember what we're looking for here when you get a, a, a sign of bottlenecking uh, when it comes to CPU bottlenecking, what you're looking at is um, going to generally be a uh, not a CPU maxed out issue but it's going to be a GPU percentage lower than about 95 percent and that means you're starting to get a little bit of throttling uh, generally you know you're not getting major throttling issues until you hit below 90 percent but as you can see you know GTA I do have everything turned up here I'll go ahead and show you guys the settings and uh, so that will show you you know again we're looking at uh, temperatures and we're not looking so much at uh, the performance of frames per second here, but I am playing at uh, 2560 by 1080. Uh, I should set my refresh rate a little bit higher. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I've got a FXAA on, MSAA turned off. Now these are my custom settings that I have set on here. Um, these are more so because I play this game some, so I have it set up to actually play the game. But uh, V-Sync is off, uh, and then we've got Population Density, Variety, uh, both turned to the max, Distance Scaling turned to the max, Texture very high, uh, here again I'll go through all of them, Reflection MSAA is turned all the way down, uh, basically I'll go, on, go through here and tell you anything that's not turned to the max setting. Uh, Soft Shadows is NVIDIA PCSS right now, um, we've got Depth of Field turned off. Um, tessellation and ambient occlusion, I think, are both turned down just a smidge. I believe there is a very high on those. Um, and then advanced graphics settings, these are the more CPU intensive settings. Uh, we've got long shadows and everything on. It's all turned up other than frame scaling because that does adjust your actual uh, resolution. Uh, so now that we're getting down here into areas that's a little bit less rural, um, or a little bit more mountain, you can see the GPU usage spiking up, uh, CPU usage is staying about the same, maybe a little bit lower, but uh, now we're not getting as much of a CPU uh, throttling issue here because uh, the GPU isn't being held back by it since we are not in as highly populated of an area. And you can see the temperature slowly rising up and you can see the clock rate slowly dropping down on the GPU. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just play here for a minute and give you guys an idea of uh, what this game uh, or what, what the fans sound like and uh, you guys just go ahead and keep an eye on that temperature so you guys can have an idea of just how hot this uh, GPU is running All right, anyway, so there you go, everybody. There you have it. Uh, that is, again, the Sager NP9872 uh, with a single GTX 1070 running on, uh, I played some Black Ops 3 and some GTA 5, just to give you guys an example of a situation with the GPU being pushed to 100% and then a situation with it being throttled back uh, by the CPU just a little bit give you guys an idea of uh, primarily the temperatures and noise. As you can see, the temperatures are pretty hot. If you were on a desktop, I'd, you know, if I were playing on a desktop with a 1070, I'd be very uncomfortable with these uh, temperatures. I would think something was wrong. Of course, on a laptop, it's a completely different scenario. You're not going to see any uh, short term or even, I'd say, you know, medium term, so to speak, wear and tear on the GPU because of these temperatures. Even if you're playing a significant amount, uh, Pascal can handle 90 Celsius without significant short-term damage or anything like that, or any short-term damage. Now, if you were, uh, you know, planning to keep this machine for eight years, you might start to see some uh, degradation of the quality of the chip and whatnot, and uh, possibly some issues. Not that, you know, I plan to do that or anything, but just to give you guys a heads up there, but, you know, the temperatures do stay under 90 C. There is more headroom. These fans are probably running at about 35 to 50 percent, depending on uh, what we were playing with Black Ops. They were probably closer to the 50 percent mark. And they are dumping out a lot of heat, but they do have more room to go. And so every time that 91 C temperature targets hit, the fans kick in and get quite a bit louder. They're probably bumping up to about 65 percent and uh, they'll go ahead and cool off that GPU. So they are capable of keeping it cool, and I would you know, not be surprised if it could keep two of them cool, but you guys want to see 
more info on that at 2560 by 1080 in specific. I can go ahead and benchmark my 1070 at 2560 by 1080 because I have noticed that there isn't a lot of information on that. But uh, here we were just looking at temperatures and we were looking at uh, the noise levels. And speaking of noise levels, it's really not that bad. You know, it's going to be louder than, uh, you know, your desktop, generally speaking. Uh, louder than a reference card. But it's really not that bad when it comes to the noise levels. Uh, for a laptop, it's very, you know, satisfactory. If I had my speakers on or if I had headphones on, I wouldn't even notice. And, you know, if you're a person that cares completely about silence, this wouldn't be the way to go. But if you care completely about silence, uh, silence a laptop is generally not the way to go. So it just gives you guys an idea of the noise levels. It's really not that bad. It's uh, totally, uh, you know, tolerable. And it's the same thing uh, with uh, the CPU being pushed. Is the noise levels are totally tolerable. Uh, and as you can see, the CPU temps, though, if you guys have been paying any attention to them, like I said, they're on the bottom left there. They have been staying very under control, uh, generally under 80 Celsius. Now, when rendering and doing other um, you know, CPU-heavy spe specific tasks, I have seen those temps uh, fluctuate in the low 90C area. Uh, so, you know, again, you're looking at higher temperatures on this in favor of noise level, even though I have it set to the extreme profile for the laptop. But just keep that in mind that, you know, if you do purchase this laptop or another laptop from Sega running these, you know, uh, desktop components with the 6700K and 1070, you are going to be seeing some pretty uh, hot, hot temperatures, but that's generally speaking going to be okay. Anyway, everybody, uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for being interested in this content here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want me to test the 1070 at this resolution, or if you want me to do other testing. I will have a teardown video as well as a full review video of this laptop coming in the coming uh, weeks. So just keep an eye out for that content there, and uh, thank you guys again for watching.